what's poppin' everyone? Welcome back to the channel, Zach Lesage here. Today we are going to be talking over one of the most beloved decks in the Pokemon standard format, Chen Pao EX. It's seen its highs, it's seen its lows, but I think with a lot of players that are dedicated behind it, such as Jared Grimes, I think this is really one of those decks that is popping off in our Paldean Fates format. So, what does it gain from Paldean Fates? Well, we gain the new Frigibax, and that might just be enough to make this deck smidge up a little bit where it's getting to those top placements in this video i'll be covering over gameplay deck profile strategy and more stay tuned for all that let's jump into this list so here we have it chen pao and this is heavily based off of jared grimes list where they made top 16 at knoxville regionals and i did take inspiration from fellow tss ian robb um, for, for placing uh, highly at the Latin American International Championships late last 2023. Chen Pao's largely figured out, but we did gain the new Frigibax, and I will jump in how that might be a little bit more important. We're going with more of a build that's focusing on Iron Hands now, just due to Lost Zone boxing a lot of success at Knoxville. Radiant Greninja is still there to snipe a couple confes on the bench, but we're not focusing on that canceling cologne at this moment. There's only so much we can do. Let me dive into how this deck actually works. So the goal for Chen Pao is you want to be able to use Shivery Chill, surging out some water energies. You want to slap them down with a back scalibur, and you want to explode with your attack hitting whatever knockout you want at 60 times for as many water energies as you can rip off of your Pokemon in play. In order to get there, you are going to have to go Frigibax, Rare Candy, Baxcalibur. And Baxcalibur makes all those energies rain down. Now, how are we going to get to that point? That's really where it's at. We want to be able to use Irida because Irida can fetch out Rare Candy, we can also get back Scalibur. Like we just have all the pieces built into a supporter. We also have the barrel, which allows us to draw cards each turn. And the cards you want to draw are going to vary from game to game, but you're able to use superior energy retrieval, getting back those energies that you pitch away from Chen Pao EX and load them back on with back Scalibur onto your Pokemon. Now you might be like, yo, Zach, why do you play that yellow Pokemon? You know, that Iron Hands thingy, Paradox Pokemon? Well, Iron Hands EX allows you to draw two prize cards or an extra prize card uh, if you knock out your opponent's active Pokemon. So in this case, if we knock out a Comfey, we're able to draw an extra prize cards. If we're able to knock out something like a Lugia V, we draw three prize cards because it's worth two prize cards. Typically, we're using it to knock out single pokemon or single prize card pokemon and we can search out that lightning energy with earth and vessel which is also searchable by irida not really anything else too crazy going on with the list all the cards are able to be found um in some way or another like history and heavy ball like if you prize something you prize something it's a pretty common card when it comes down to it the new card that I do want to talk about when it comes to Paldean Fates is the Frigibax. Now, you might be like, why are you just like talking about one Frigibax? It's kind of important. We play two of the Frigibax with 60 HP because they have free retreat, but we're also scared of Sableye just going 60 and 60. So we play one Frigibax with 70 HP just to protect ourselves in the late game. We did get a new one from Paldean Fates, and Collect allows you to draw a card. Doesn't sound like a lot, but the other Frigibax that we had from Paldea Evolved allowed you to do 10 damage. Now, 10 damage is cool, and I'm sure it's impactful in some cases. We see how lists play Vitality Bands in like a Charizard deck, for example. Chen Pao does as much damage as you needed to do. In that case, the 10 damage largely does not matter. Now, if you're looking for anything more about this Chen Pao list, I do have a copy and paste available in the description below. So if you're looking for any cards like Chen Pao, Baxcalibur, or even that shiny Frigibax, check out our sponsors at Atlas, Kayfabe, PTCGL Store, pick up some codes, cards, singles, sealed, whatever. We have discounts in the description. And while you're there, give this video a like, share, subscribe, and let's jump into this Chen Pao EX gameplay. 
Okay, so our opponent's calling the coin flip, and I like going first when it comes to Baxcalibur because we're able to get out our Frigibax, and next turn we're able to go Rare Candy and really start wrecking havoc on our opponent's Pokemon. We'll see how the coin flip goes. Hopefully we just win it. There's Tails, and we won. So yes, we are going to go first. Um, and it's, it's weird because your deck can be a little bit fragile on the first turn, but we'll we'll see how it plays out we did get a frigibax honestly not bad um our hand's not particularly strong but we'll, we'll see maybe we'll get something off the heavy ball maybe there's a few things we'll see whatever our opponents can doing not every single deck can attack on the first turn however quite a few of them can arceus likely is not going to be able to attack on the first turn so let's start things off by looking through with heavy ball and heavy ball gives us a lot of choices Frigibax is just by default going to be our choice because man, if we, we don't need in this matchup, Chen Pao, uh, we already have another one. So let's go ahead, grab out this Frigibax. I see myself ripping out this Cross Switcher and a Super Rod. I want to get a Bidoof down this turn and you might be like, yo, why do, why are we grabbing Bidoof? Like we're, we're in a position where we have to. Super Rod's going to be a little bit tough. Cross Switcher is fine. Um, there's our Bidoof. We've already checked through our prize card, so there's not too much here that I'm really worried about. So there's our Bidoof. Let's see exactly what we got going on, and we will pass our turn. Next turn, we can get out Barrel. We're, we're able to search things out or draw cards without abilities, because even though we're playing against a Pathlock deck, or likely playing against a Pathlock deck, we should be chillin'. Um, so Irida is going to be able to grab us Rare Candy Baxcalibur. If we top deck either one of those, we can pitch something else. Oh, okay. So it's a Charizard deck. This should be a pretty okay matchup. Like Chen Pao has some decent matchups into some bigger decks like Chen Pao or like Charizard. Um, oh, okay. They just passed. We might be able to get a knockout. The water energy is kind of sick. So I think what I'm going to have to do, there's no way for us to get more water energies. I think what we're going to have to do is going ahead and pitching these. So we lose a superior. We lose um, a uh, super rod when it comes down to it. We're going to go Irida. We're going to get the rare candy. Um, I do like evolving the one with 70 HP if it's a matchup where it does not matter. Just so that we have less retreat cost in play. So that's something you want to think about. Um, probably doesn't matter too, too much. But uh, it usually matters enough. We might be able to score a knockout here. Uh, we'll have to see how it plays out, to be honest. Like, five cards is not a lot, but we are kind of set up, and our opponent had, like, a little bit of a not great start. Now, they could knock out our Baxcalibur. I'm really not worried about that. I think what we need to focus on here is getting set up for next turn. I don't want to attach an energy. I don't want to do anything. I'm just going to pass. So sometimes you will draw into cards like Battle VIP Pass. Like, we did not get a Battle VIP Pass on our first turn. That would have been sick. We could have got out Radiant Greninja, whatever. Like, I think next turn we can be able to start drawing things. It looks like that it's not an Arceus deck. It looks like it's a Charizard deck. Um, maybe I could have put Frigibax down in case they get, like, Rare Candy Charizard. Um, and it looks like they'll be able to get Rare Candy Charizard. And they have the fancy new ones from Paldean Fates. Like, everyone's getting hyped about this set in some way or another and our opponents go in full bling all the way except for their artisan but maybe they ran out of credits um <laughs> that's okay we'll, we'll we'll see how uh we'll, we'll see how it works um so if they knock at our frigibax that's whatever they they might have an opportunity to i mean i guess they can't really knock out like they might be able to go escape rope knock at our backscalibur um or knock at our barrel that would kind of suck but we have Artisan to be able to kind of get things out if we need to in some capacity. And we're just going to play it safe here. Like, we just need a Chen Pao. We could always send up something and retreat. Oh, I thought they already played Research. Oh, I guess they Ultra Balled Research. I'm completely fine with this. I was a little bit worried, and I totally misread this situation. They could have potentially gone boss or something else like that. Um, I, I might have played that turn out a little bit differently, to be honest. Um, we're going to go for Irida here, and what I want to go for Irida is I definitely just need a Chen Pao. Like, I want to knock my opponent out, and that's what I want to be doing with my Chen Pao. 
So let's go Chen Pao, and I think the other card that I want to grab is probably going to be Nest Ball. So let's go ahead and go Chen Pao goes down. Nest Ball grabs us a Radiance. Radiant Little Guy. And I also want to use our opponent's um, Artisan while I have the opportunity to do that. So let's go ahead and go Artisan goes here, searching our deck for a Bidoof. This way, we'll have double the barrel. If they knock one out, we'll have double Frigibax. Like, this is a pretty ideal board state. It can get kind of weird if your opponent plays Avery, Collapsed, whatever. Um, there's some opportunities there. Now, before we draw cards with Industrial and Scissors, I want to go ahead and use Pokestop. Pokestop's going to be pretty easy. I'm not going to use it right yet because I want to try to draw cards. I'm also going to make sure that I attach it with Super Cold because if you don't announce your Super Cold when you're playing a tournament, your opponent could hit you with the, you already attached for your turn and Super Cold doesn't attach lightning energies. Keep that option open. So use Super Cold first. Um, and uh, yeah, <laughs> it can be tough. Let's use Industrial and Scissors here. We're going to draw a couple cards. <clears throat> lightning energy could be kind of cool. What I want to do here is draw into, um, we need five water energies. So let's go ahead and retreat. We're going to go ahead and use Chen Pao's ability. Um, so we're able to search out some of these energies. Um, or actually, maybe we want to use just concealed cards so we have a higher chance of drawing into water because we still need five. So let's go concealed cards first. Pitches away, hopefully draw into waters. Now we use Shivery Chill. We search for a couple more waters. So sometimes you just gotta change the way that you're like actively playing like the order of things in order to reach the results of what you want. And I think that was a perfect um, ex like example of executing it differently. Um, had I done Shivery Chill first and then use Earthen Vessel, I might not have drawn into Water Water. Um, do I wanna draw into some more cards? I honestly don't know if I wanna stop here or not. I think stop might actually be detrimental to me. Um, not sure like what i'd be actually looking for like i don't think um cross switchers is really what i'm looking like i could get cross switchers but it's fine um i think i just go super cold a bunch so we'll actually attach these energies going one two oh you wonder what i could have also attacked with radiant greninja that turn that's just me being dumb so if anyone's watching i could have definitely attacked with uh rad ninja we'll go one two three and I'll just put an extra one there. Um, maybe I'll get cross switchers. That'd be kind of funny. Because I've already retreated, yeah. Um, I wasn't even thinking of that because I totally saw thought my opponent was playing the turn differently. I just kind of got lost in the sauce. Um, I'll definitely take those. <clears throat> so, yeah. Look for opportunities to wipe your opponent's board. Um, it's sometimes tough to see all the lines of play with this deck. But I think that gives you a lot of opportunities um, to see. I'm just going to discard off the active because we could always get them back and attach with Backscalibur. I want to keep the Frigibax with the energy so I have a free pivot retreat next turn. I still drew, drew two prize cards in this matchup super favorable. But uh, don't be like me and uh, not wipe your opponent's board off. For the sake of gameplay, we're probably going to get some more gameplay this way, which is going to be kind of sick. Um just because like had i board wiped our opponents uh charmander and charmeleon they're probably gonna snap concede and i'm gonna have to like get some more gameplay so all in all this worked out you get to see more of the deck you get to see how it plays out you get to see what's chilling on um we could just like hit our opponent with charizard over the head like six times in a row and if they go for backscalibur that's really cool too um that's awesome. So yeah, anyone in the comments who's going to tell me about Radiant Greninja, you literally watched the video on mutes. That's your bad. <laughs> okay, so we're chilling here. We still have a lot of things that we can do. We have a lot of energies in our discard pile. I think we have literally all energies in play and in the discard pile. So like, we need to make sure that we're actually just like getting them back. We're going to send up... Frigibax right there. And I don't want to retreat yet. Um, I know that we have another one. Okay, this could be kind of cool. So let's just go Heavy Ball. Heavy Ball gets me Chen Pao for sure. And like, I could get Cross Switcher and knock out a Charizard and have an extra energy in play. That might be cool. Um, I do have another 
Chen Pao in the deck available. There's only like one Pokemon that I can knock out, so Radiant Greninja is not the play. Iron Hands could have been the play, but maybe not. Maybe uh, I am going to guarantee getting a knockout on this. I just want to be able to like get out of the active, I guess. Um, but maybe I don't need to worry about that too much. I think what I need to be focusing on here more is me using Super Rod, getting back water, water, water. Using superior energy retrieval, pitching this and this away, leaving myself with a decent bit of cards. One, two, three, four. We still have two superior energy retrievals. So I think it's just gonna be a super standard game. And the reason, like, we're not using Radiant Greninja no more because I can't get rid of the water. So there's a certain point where you want to stop with that. We're just going to retreat into the Chen Pao. I'm going to go to Shivery Chill. And we're just going to try to rip these water energies out of the deck. Um, let's go Super Cold. We're going to load on a bunch of energies on a Chen Pao. So let's go one, two. Again, so it only needs two. Let's, like, load it up the same way that we had it before. Three, six. So that's enough for us to get the knockout. Let's evolve our Bidoof into Bibarel. And let's use Industrial and Scissors to draw some cards. So, nothing crazy. We do have Cross Switchers if we need so for next turn. Um, nothing else that I really want to do. I don't want to particularly like pitch things away, but maybe I do. Like I'm thinking about it and I'm like, there's a Chen Pao in that deck. I don't have the Chen Pao in my hand. Is that something that I really want? I think maybe I'm just going to rip the Pokestop and see. Um, I guess it's also like kind of risky because that's the second super rod. So maybe that was a little too risky. Um, do I want to go rare candy back Scalibur? I think that does give us a little bit more out. Have I used how many rare candies have I used? Two. Um, we'll go for another this because we still have one more rare candy. Even if our opponent goes for a technical machine de-evolution, let's try to draw another card with industrial and scissors. Uh, Battle VIP pass does not particularly help us. We're just going to rip all the energies and rip this Charizard to shreds. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And we're knocking out the Charizard. Um, is that 100% like the best? I don't know. Like we're, we're still like, oh, okay. We have the other rare candy. I think it's getting on a little bit uh, scary there. Um, that's okay. Every single video I do is not always going to be my A plus gameplay. <laughs> But I did show how uh, we are able to get some knockouts and stuff. So as long as that's cool with all y'all, it's cool with me. Um, I'm really cool with the Iono here. Reason why I'm cool with Iono is because our hand had too many cards and we're probably going to draw in a Chen Pao. Or we have a pretty good chance of drawing in a Chen Pao. Lost City is totally fine with me um, because we still have access to our other Chen Pao. Um, even if our opponent gets a knockout, we can also go Superior Energy Retrieval. Like, there's some opportunities here. Um... We still have two cross switchers left, I know for sure, at the bottom of our deck. So make sure that, like, you understand, like, the order of your deck when possible. Like, when your opponent plays Iono, we know that we have cross switchers there. We know that we did not have Chen Pao there. There's a really good chance that we draw into Chen Pao within our top deck or the next few cards that we get. I could also just see us knocking out this Pidgeot to win the game um, because that might be a little bit easier. We'll have to, like, see how that plays out. Um... Because, yeah, it looks like it's going to be... We have one energy for... We have access to nine energies, and we need... Yeah, so we should be okay. I think we should be generally okay. I hope we're generally okay. Eight, nine, two retreat. We'll just wait for our opponent to draw their prize cards. I'm honestly not sure. Like, I feel like we're just going to be able to get out of Chen Pao this turn and absolutely demolish... If worse comes to worse, um, I actually could just send up Radiant Greninja because that just means we only need one energy there. That's honestly not too bad. It's going to auto draw their prize cards for them at some point. And yeah, we'll send up Radiant Greninja because Radiant Greninja has one retreat cost. And hopefully we're able just to get out Chen Pao. Um, Irida does get us out Chen Pao. So what I want to do here is go Irida, search for Chen Pao. Um, I probably just want to grab in. Oh, you want to what? We actually just get the game here by going Chen Pao Superior Energy Retrieval. 
um, because we can just go like this. We're going to go ahead and we're going to draw some cards with the first one. So let's use Industrial and Scissors so we can draw just more fodder that we can discard. Let's use Superior Energy Retrieval. And since we already have the other one, like we're guaranteed having it. Two, three, four. Uh, so we do win the game, um, which is awesome. Like we were able to win like in our own way. Do I think I could have played a little bit better this game? Yeah. Um, I'm not a Chen Pao expert. If you want to get Chen Pao coaching, uh, get coaching from uh, Jared Grimes. They 100% know what they're doing. Uh, with this deck like they literally like i feel like they only play this deck and not to say that they only play this deck but um we will see exactly how it plays out um okay so one two three four yeah we could actually we got the cross switcher too so let's just go ahead and like show the cross switcher play um but i do generally know how to play this deck fairly well and i mean um it's just like getting used to it a little bit more to 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 whatever I don't know what's going on it I don't know if our opponent's gonna concede or not this is worth two prize cards let's just hit this for a lot of damage hail blade um, so yeah we take the dub Chen Pao you can see can hold itself own with Charizard one of the best decks in the format thought it was arc Charizard for a second but that's cool so there's a big knockout 480 damage Chen Pao is still lit it still got it could have played a little bit better but uh I think the new Frigibax is nice. Not that it's going to super alter the gameplay, but it's still very, very nice. So that's what we got going on with Chen Pao today. I think that the deck worked very well in that video, showing you exactly what the deck can do against one of the top meta decks. And there's probably opportunities for more, whether it's attacking with Radiant Greninja or attacking with Iron Hands EX. Now, if you want to have any, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Totally would get back to every single question and be like, is CPOW good? Why do you play Iron Hands? Let me know about whatever. Just talk about it. Tell me about your day. Would love some interaction. Like this video, share this video with your friends, subscribe to the channel. We're so close to 20k subs. Um, and again, the list is available in the description. Uh, so you want to copy and paste that right into PTCG Live, you totally, 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 totally can. Um, and if you want to hit up any of our sponsors, Kayfabe, Atlas, PTCGL Store, they all have discounts on singles, sealed, uh, codes, you know what I'm saying? Graded, whatever you want uh, when it comes down to it. If you want to help support us, um, pick up some uh, Ultimate Guard products. I also really like these just for basic deck boxes. Uh, I started building some decks in the Temporal Fates, uh, Temporal Forces uh, format. So that I'm storing a lot of them in these uh, deck boxes. And I also store my extra like katanas after I play through them with the regionals, just for playing with my uh, kind of collection decks. Um, so check out Ultimate Guard as well. If you want to really help support the Shuffle Squad? Check out our Patreon at patreon.com slash tsswin. Um, you get access to all of our deck lists early, including Temporal Forces, Paldean Fades, Buy Lists, Chatting with the Squad, all of our long form articles, um, bonus content, all that great stuff. Great time to be a Patreon member. Um, and also I offer coaching. Um, this gameplay is honestly not my funnest gameplay. Um, I have a lot of methodical thinking on how sequencing should work. I could really help you grow, especially if you're playing for any of the upcoming events, whether you're going to Dortmund, uh, Utrecht, uh, Guenya, um, EUIC, whatever. I totally love to help you out. Um, whether either that, or if you're going to league cups, league challenges, um, sometimes it's worth to get a second look. So that being said, I hope you enjoyed. I'll catch up with all y'all later. I have my best decks video coming out tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. And again, uh, let's get to 20 K subs sooner than later. And that happens with all y'all much love. Peace out. Have a great one. Want to support the Shuffle Squad? Be sure to check out all of our sponsors in the description to pick up Pokemon TCG singles, sealed, and PTCG live codes. Hey trainers, tired of having too many cards lying around? I know that feeling, and I know what a hassle it is to try and sell those cards. But selling bulk is now easier than ever with TCG Bulk. Find tons of potential buyers in a single place. You just download the app, look for the best buyer near you, and carefully pack your bulk, ship it, and you get paid. It really is that simple. Turn the cards you don't want into the cards you absolutely need for your next deck. You made it to the end. Thank you so much for watching this entire video from the Shuffle Squad. Honestly, from the bottom of our hearts, we appreciate each and every person that supports our content. 
watches what we have going on every single day, every single week, even from time to time, and uh, continuously allows us to have a forum to project our creative content towards the Pokemon TCG community. So if you haven't already, be sure to give this video a like, subscribe to the channel, and even leave a comment to help boost the YouTube algorithm. That being said, we'll catch you with our next video. Thanks again. Take it easy.